welcome to Hogwarts House of Witchcraft and Wizardry and today you guys are going to have an exclusive look at a sorting ceremony. I am the human version of the sorting hat so you guys will have the pleasure of hearing all of my inner thoughts as I hold on to these children and place them into their new houses. So we have 12 new students coming into our school and I have the pleasure of sorting them into their houses. So as you know we have four houses, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin and Hufflepuff. And all those houses are so great but unfortunately these children can only go into one. So let the sorting ceremony begin! So firstly in the ceremony we have The Winner's Curse by Maria Podkowski and Ooh, this one, I'm feeling very different things about it. So you have a young girl called Kestrel who has everything in her life and then one day she meets a slave boy called Aaron and she decides to do the kind thing and bring him into her home. She did save him from a lot of other trouble that could have happened to him and even though she does have a horrible father who's the general in, during a war that is occurring, she is quite brave and smart. God, she could be a Ravenclaw, she could be a Gryffindor, even a Hufflepuff, but I am definitely feeling Ravenclaw! The next one that we have is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Elias Sayens. feel two different houses, two very different houses. We have Gryffindor and Hufflepuff that I am feeling, for there are two very, very brave boys in this book. So you have Ari and Dante who come from very different backgrounds, so Ari has a very, very troubled past and he can be a bit mean, I guess, sometimes, but all for the greater good. And Dante, well, he is just so kind and smart and beautiful and both of them have such a great friendship, so they have to obviously go into Hufflepuff. The next one that I've got is The Giver by Lois Larry. And this one is quite easy for me. Obviously set in a dystopian world where everything is in order and on time. They are all set to do different jobs and they can't really stray from the path. And yet this young boy uses his brain and wants to expand the knowledge in his head. So I am obviously going to put him into Ravenclaw. The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stevader. And I'm feeling very different vibes between this one. Perhaps Gryffindor, perhaps Slytherin. Hmm. We have one girl who decides that she's going to be really brave and participate in the Scorpio races where you must train completely untamable horses that are born in the sea, that are vicious and cruel and deadly, and yet she takes her own normal horse into this race where she could potentially die. And there is a boy in this who has a very dark past and yet he still has kindness within him. But because of their friendship and their bravery, Gryffindor! Disruption by Jessica Shrivington. And this one, I, I know straight away where it is going. We have the main character who has had a troubled past, like most of the other children that are coming into our school. But Maggie has had one of the worst when her father went missing because of a company that pretty much rules this world. And so she puts a plan to steal his son to get back at him and hopefully find her father. She is brave and cunning and smart and of course, disruption is going to go into Slytherin. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak and hmm. I feel very, very different things about this book, for there is a lot that in it that can go into all of the houses. You have Liesl who is brave and smart and caring and she can be cunning too when she wants to be. But overall, with the kindness and compassion and the loyalty between all these characters, the way that Liesl is managing her life during this war and helping her friends and family when she can, I have to say, Hufflepuff. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, a book about a young boy who has only known one thing his entire life and lived in one place with his adorable dog, Manchi, suddenly finds himself on the outside of this life that he was comfortable with and now he must try to survive as a whole town of men is chasing him down because he has become friends with a girl. This one, oh, this one, I also know exactly which house it's going to be as soon as I touched it. Because there is bravery and adventure and a lot of heart in this book. So, of course, he's going to go into Gryffindor. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. And this one, this one could go into very, very 
different houses. I have a feeling of Slytherin mixed in with Ravenclaw mostly, but there is a bit of Gryffindor in here. But mostly, out of all of them, I have to say that this book is ringing out Ravenclaw. It is an enchanting and beautiful tale that really expands your mind and uses brains to get to the end of a lot of problems in this book. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins and this one is tricky, very, very tricky. There are definitely characters within this that I would class as Hufflepuff and Gryffindor, but the entire book as a whole and The Hunger Games, it just immediately makes me think that it should, but it has to be in Slytherin. They are cunning and smart, but most of all, they are all trying to survive and endure the Hunger Games. And so, yes, Slytherin it is. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Hmm, which house do you belong in? A girl whose family has pretty much all left her. The parents are both dead, the brother is taken away, and she has to fend for herself in a world where aliens are trying to eradicate the human race. So what house do you belong in? You are very, very brave and very loyal to try and find your brother, so you are going to be in Gryffindor. Akane by Lynette Noni, and this one, I know exactly what house is going to go in. When Alex finds herself falling through a door into the world of Medora, she finds herself placed in an academy for magical folk, and that school is called Akane. So she must learn to not only deal with living in this new life, trying to find her way home, dealing with a threat that is happening on Akane, but also trying to fit in at this school. So it is a tale of friendship and loyalty and kindness. And so Akane, you're going to be in Hufflepuff. And our last student for the sorting ceremony is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. And this one is definitely giving me some strong feels into one certain house. So this book is about six delinquents that find themselves offered to do a heist. This could earn the most money and the best reputation. And so Kaz Brecker finds himself collecting a team to take him on this journey to invade this other country that is basically impossible. Filled with wit and cunning and bravery and smarts, this book is filled with plot twists and turns in this wonderful fantasy world. And it is, hands down, going to be one of the best students at Hogwarts. And this student is going to be in Slytherin. Now run along kids and enjoy your meal for the evening. And if you can all bring your hands together to congratulate and invite these students into a home at Hogwarts. <laughs> Let's hope those kids do not forget their wands or their pets. <laughs> Thank you for being part of the sorting ceremony today and hopefully we shall see you again soon at our wonderful school of Hogwarts. Bye. I shall go and return to my hat form now.